Megalith of Mansions in Lebanon, an example of heritage valorization near a conflict zone, by Valérie Pora Coutini from University of Perpignan in France, Tara Steimer Herbert, and Mary Beth from University of Genova in Switzerland. The village of Menges is in the Arca region in northeastern Lebanon, three kilometers away from the Syrian border. The municipality of Menges is pursuing a sustainable development program thanks to numerous partnerships. The territory of the municipality is rich with several heritages from antiquity and the Middle Ages but it is the most interesting necropolis of these heritages. Indeed, more than 150 megaliths were inventoried and studied by Jesuit father Maurice Tallon in the 50s. There are few publications, but we have notebooks of the excavations written by father Morris. These dolmens were studied more recently by Stara Steimer Herbert and published in the year 2000. Here we see the dolmens in 2017. They are difficult to see and understand. These monuments suffered from several dangers. Agricultural development, treasure hunters, fires used by hunters. The Maya of Menges asked one of us, Tara Steimer, to participate in an offer from the British Council for an economic development project through culture in a territory near a conflict zone. The Menges project was selected ahead of 140 other projects in Lebanon or elsewhere in the world. In April 2018, the first mission made it possible to select 11 dolmens on land belonging to the municipality with the following criteria good conservation, different types of architecture, a distribution allowing a loop to be made for a hiking tour, a limited number which fits the budget and the allotted time, one month of field work. The second mission cleared the dolmens because there was no possibility of excavation. Just a study of the architecture and artifacts already found by Jesuit father Maurice Talon. Each dolmen has been studied in plan and in elevation, with photogrammetric readings for a 3D rendering. Despite the very different state of conservation, we recognize the burial chamber, the terminus and its crown, the square or round enclosure. For the pleasure of the eyes, I show you some monuments, but it is not my subject. This is their valuation. Several publications on the studies of megalith have already been produced. I give the references at the end of the presentation. Dalman 11 is a special monument because it is very well preserved and it has several peculiarities. Graphic reproduction of Dalman 11 by Florian Cousseau 
for the reconstruction in 3D. It was reconstructed in 3D by Jan Bernard. There are two possibilities of reconstruction. After study, the ground of the monuments is covered with geotextile to limit the regrowth of plants. Then, geotextile is hidden under basalt gravel. Dolmen 11 shows an easier reading of the monument. Dolmen 10 clearly shows the reuse of ancient settlements sites with carved blocks that appear older than the dolmens. Near the dolmens, there are still houses with double apses which could date from the Bronze Age. Here we see bronze artefacts found by Father Talon. Another exceptional monument was studied, but was not included in the valuation because it is on private land. This monument alerted us to the presence of contemporary engravings on dolmens. Inhabitants of Menges showed us other engravings located in two wadis. Wadi Faza with engravings of snakes and sculptures of snakes following accidents of the rock. Another wadi with carvings and engravings of snakes. Some signs are found on the studied dolmens. Back to the studied dolmens included Monument 11 with engravings and sculptures. The snake seems to be the favourite theme of this land. Could some signs be suggestive of a serpent's head? Could the moss be a symbol of renewal for the dead? Searches for engravings were made at night on the dolmens. For study and valuation purposes, films and photos were taken by drone. Visit of the DGA and awareness among the Menges inhabitants to their heritage. Creation of two walking tours, one short for families, and one other of two hours which go through the village. Belesta Castle Museum welcomes and trains the two future leaders of the Menges Heritage House. At the Museum of Lebanese Prehistory of Saint Joseph, we made the casts of the objects selected for the heritage house. No original artifacts are displayed because of the proximity of the conflict zone. During winter 2018 and 2019, preparation of the furniture of the house and copies of, ob of objects and of the model of the dolmen. The Lebanese artisans for furniture and a French artist for copies of prehistoric artifacts. Applications in Bahal, 
2018 and 2019 and one in Akadika. The project was limited to the production of an exhibition about the Mendes megalith. But in fact, we went further by giving advice for the layout of places proposed by Mendes municipality. With the production of all the museography in a place, we saw just the day of installation. The place after the renovation of the buildings and the creation of the logo of the Maison du Patrimoine of Manges. The snake appeared obvious as a symbol or emblem of the place. Laying out the terrace and installing one of the snake-carved rocks of Wadi Faza. The grey colour recalled the ubiquitous basalt in the landscapes and reed canopy evokes roofs of prehistoric houses. The terrace with a view of the artificial lake, which will be a tourist attraction for this region, which is a little bit far from the sea. The entrance to the premises and the reception for the ticket office on the left. The panels in three languages about Mensch's heritage context. Model of Dolmen 11, the best preserved dolmen. There are two rooms with total 70 square meters with a harmony of three shades of gray of the wall for the walls. We have created museum furniture display cases and storage benches. The mirror shows the faces of the inhabitants of Menges 40,000 years ago. A sign indicates this in three languages. Copies of the jewelry show this exceptional adornment with rocks that can be seen and touched nearby. Rocks stood on wood covered with earth. Same thing for the green stone and its wheel and the engraved rock. The artifacts in the display cases were placed on shiny black graphite sand. In a large room of the ground floor, four movies are shown on a white painted wall. This space, this space will be used for workshops with school children. The inauguration of the premises with state officials and local elected officials. A bus of tourism professionals was paid by the municipality to come from Beirut. Guide sheets in three languages for each dolmen have been published. Free leaflets are available in the Heritage House or can be printed from the museum website. The dolmens as showcased. A poster card for sale at the museum. that the exhibition is on sale at the Heritage House and the Archaeological Museum of Beirut. A promotional flyer has been printed in three languages. With a minimum of resources and a lot of time and goodwill from all the partners, a great project was able to see the light of day. We hope that it will be able to keep all the promises of expected economic development with the expected induced jobs. The project continued in 2020 with territorial partnerships between France and Lebanon for the creation of a shop associated with the Heritage House. 
but social and health crisis slow down the project, which should continue when times get better.